But now we move on from the high rollers to our classic dancers. As this matchup is one for the ages and one that certainly will be uh, going through the test of time. And I'm sure will be remembered for it's a great matchup. Let's go take a look. It is the last stand between two amazing players. On the left, it is the icon of classic Tetris, Ben Frickin Mullen. You all know who he is. Legendary. The man most famous for mulling in a match. And that's where the phrase became coined. He will take on the Mega Retro Man, who is calling it a career this year. This is it, his final year of competitive classic Tetris. This is one of his foes that he wishes to end it on. And this is the last stand happening between the two. It'll be a best of nine match. But we'll come out on top. Mega has said that he wants to go out with a bang and get the win over the icon. But the legend himself said, it ain't going to be easy, brother. I just went through 99 games and back with Boom, Tetris, and Jeff. I'm going to show you what I learned and put you out sooner than you think. Absolute legends. I'm excited for this. Who will come out on top? We're going to find out shortly. But first, of course, let's hear what they had to say about this uh, matchup taking place. Rival in this case is someone that plays at a comparable and equal level to yourself. Ben and I are one and one, and it's a shame that none of our matches have made it to the CTWC stage. But I can't think of a better place than the next best thing being in Kingsman's event. I'm so glad that they allow me to give the call on this one. Because we will not be disappointed. Both players, absolutely, really good. Ben is someone that I got to know really well. And it's not just him. It's Louis Scooey. It's Joey Parker. These group of men are some of the closest friends that I've gained in meeting them through CTWC. Really, I can't think of anyone better than the icon himself for the Ecstasy of Order to play my last set of matches with. Now what will it take for me to overcome playing against my rival? Well, we all know Ben is a smart player, and I have to play as smart as he does. Take the necessary line burns. You know, try not to be as aggressive as I'm known to be in my stacking you know, for a DAS player. And I know this last set of games is not going to be easy for, well, either of us. That's why they are staying so close to each other. Bang, rank, touch to Ben. 484. Mega gets a Tetris, bang, bang, 509, 114 lines. Let's get down to the promo bit. Ben, you're, you're one of my good friends coming out of CTWC. Um, I think we've got to know each other really well. And we both know what we're capable of in this game of classic Tetris. They say it's an honorable thing for you to lose in your last match and leave it all there. But I don't want to lose my last set of matches, man. I need this win. I need to prove to everybody that I'm still a good Tetris player. Have I shown it recently? No. No, my gameplay has been atrocious, and I know that, but I need to make one good lasting impression, and I'm going to do it here on Kingsman Event. I'll see you then, man. Best of luck.
What is a rival? I don't know. I guess a rival is someone who wants the same thing you want. And they're trying to take it. <laughs> and you're trying to take it instead of them. A rival is someone who's competing really for the same space that you're in. In Tetris, I guess that means that we're... That people like me. The people I like to call old das men. Old das men, or old ass men, depending on how you want to say it, are competing for the same space, which is <laughs> to be reasonably good at das. I don't know. If you get really good at getting a lot of lines every time. In high school, I was to the point where I could average over 270 lines per game. Which, when you average in some bad games, I'm getting to level 29 nearly every time. So what makes Paul a rival? Well, Paul's an old ass man. And <laughs> this is his retirement after all, so he must be an old ass man too. So I want to send him off right by just kicking his ass. And that's uh, what I intend to do here on the 30th. A few things that make Paul a rival to me. We played a great online head-to-head uh, -head a while ago that ended in a near tie. And only because one of our computers glitched. I think it might have been mine. Kill screen from Mega 776. What a score, but Ben, through PowerPoint and all, at 887 on level 28. We will try to see what his finish is. He will take game number one. I'd like to finish him off proper. You also really, um, you always want to destroy people who beat your heroes. He beat Jonas, and uh, I want to destroy him for that. In a loving way, of course. <laughs> this will do it! That's oh! it! it! Jonas is out of the tournament! in shocking fashion and look at what it means for mega retro man let me tell you what i think it'll take to be paul tetris i'm gonna have to take pieces and put them places that they fit which is not easy for me because i'm not a very smart man but i intend to defeat this fellow uh it's gonna take moxie it's gonna take skill it might take more than just tea might take a bit of a bit of hard liquor in my glass on the 30th and that's what I intend to do make this man hurt that's what I have for you I can't wait to play All right, next match here on the uh, Tetris Friendly's Rivals 3 Super Show is about to commence. And this one is a best of nine uh, match. Get a truck going on the left-hand side is a man that is laughing it up because he can't believe that he doesn't know how to record a video sideways. But he'll learn because that's what he does. He's an icon in this uh, eSport. Amanda has been well known at the World Championships for over a decade. And unfortunately, he won't be making it this year, but he has left his mark no matter whatever year he goes. Fix it his cam so you make sure you can see his neck. It is Ben freaking Mullen! And on the right is a man very determined to end his career on a high note. He wants to beat his friends. He wants to make sure that he did it his way. And he's going to go look out to go in the world of classic Tetris on his own terms. Retro gaming superstar and a Nintendo World Championship high score world record holder. 5.1 million. It's the Mega Retro Man! What to call this a Best of Nine with me is a man that certainly knows how to call Best of Nine matches. He's called Best of 99 matches with me. And now he's got a 5.2, said Mega. And the man that has called matches with me 
for the last two summers and knows these guys oh so very well. It is a retro gaming legend himself, Chris Bidwell. Good evening, Chris. What is up, King? How are you tonight? I'm doing ecstatic, man. And I'm going to love to see these two guys in action. They are getting the warm-ups in and uh, looking to end their rivalry. Uh, so this is the last time that they are scheduled to play in a competitive match. As our friend Mega Retro Man is calling it a career in 2022. So I'm ecstatic to see what he's got in store for tonight. I am excited. Can you believe CTWC is only two weeks away? It doesn't feel like it's two weeks away. I, 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 it keeps feeling like it's next month. The next month is tomorrow. It is, yes. And October, October I'm, the first is tomorrow. Yeah, so I, mean, I only have like, one week of work left. It's so weird. I, I feel like I'm like I I gotta start doing my work catch up before I leave, and I'm not looking forward to that part. But I am looking forward to everything else that's that whole week's gonna entail. Oh, I am certainly looking forward to a lot of things, and you and I have a lot of work to do over those uh, few days. So I'm uh, I'm looking forward to it. Man. What I'm is this crazy. nonsense? Fifty. <laughs> Right before we get into the action, let's give a huge shout out to Dog Watching Tetris. 50 give subs to the community here. My God, Dog Watching Tetris, you are insane, but you are probably the greatest fan of all time. We appreciate your patronage, not only to this channel, but to the world of Class Tetris, because you have given so much to so many. You're the man, brother. Thank you so much. Part of the uh, September promo, I guess. I don't know how all that works. I'm an old man. You got to get that last day in. Yeah, I guess that's a good savings, but certainly. <laughs> I don't think DWT was looking at it that way. It was certainly like, not, nah, let's just. Let's generous just no matter what. what. Yeah, like, yeah, that was awesome. Without question. And what also is awesome, let's go right to some online facts here. Uh, Bidwell, our two favorite players are going to go at it. So let's kind of look at the tail of the tape. Ben is a DAS player. Has a 1.1 million PB score in this illustrious game. His Tetris Friendly's record is 19 and 8. So it's a little bit inflated because he beat up on Louis Scooby in the 2021 <laughs> Best of 99 series. But he got some back because he got beat up in this year's installment versus Jeff. So that 19 8 kind of bounces out overall. His notable achievement is making CTWC 2013 top 8. And his record against Mega Retro Man in Friendly's is 1 and 1 with a 4 and 3 games advantage as they played two sets. And Ben won a best of three. On the right, it is the Mega Retro Man Superstar Gamer. as a DAS player as well. Very ferocious DAS player indeed. Has a 1.2 million score in NES Classic Tetris. Has a 10 and 6 record on friendlies. He is a NWC World Record holder. As mentioned, he's just 5.2 million now, so that's why needs to get updated for YouTube. And uh, is 1 and 1, as mentioned, with 3 and 4 record against Ben. So you're making fun of Ben's camera work during a promo, but that is a awfully perfectly centered camera for this match. I appreciate it, Ben. He made my Meg, life easier. I didn't want to have to go do yeah. that. <laughs> Mega might want to lower his camera ever so slightly so he can get some neck action in there. We're all fans of the necks. So as mentioned, this is going to be a best of nine. First to five will win. This is not like the 99 house rules where it's 100k top outs, restarts. No, we're playing... Good old-fashioned best of nine, just the way the game was intended to play. And, uh, we're just going to put a graphic up or with the crowns, or what are we going to do with that? Just have to memorize this stuff, because you know how bad I am if they're remembering scores. Oh, well, I'll handle that. Yes, we'll fix that. Thanks. Okay. Thanks to Skip Logic for the sub here, 19 months with Tier 1. Thank you so much, my friend. We'll go Rocket Ball later. All right, so players, when you are ready to go, this is 18 all the way. Ben has the Hover 3. He's evolved, Chris. He knows from the Best of 99 series. That's how we let yep. us know. We're ready. Mega, perhaps will let us know in the chat or have a Hover 3. He evolved the last time when we saw him on this channel. He played Jeff back in April. Ben learned the Hover 3. He can learn the landscape on the phone. I'm sure he could, yeah. Mega, when you are ready to go, brother. There he goes. He's got the hover three. Chris. Yeah, we got it. It's game time for the legends. Count them down for this game number one. Game number one. Let's have some fun in three, two, one, Tetris. They announced that uh, you and I are going to be working the silver bracket next month on CT3. 
on CT4 will be more uh, silver bracket action, but we're going to just have a parade of commentators come in and out of that uh, streaming station. So the CTWC premiere IRL of one grand designs will likely happen and it will be a spectacle and I guarantee you the entire show floor is going to hear the dulcet tones from Pittsburgh. <laughs> oh, without And it'll question. be great. No, without <laughs> question. We don't need to worry about vendor sales being interrupted. It'll be nothing but GD. Oh, certainly. Love him. And uh, they'll do a good job on that CT4. The variety stream, we'll call that. Because you'll get a yeah. cavalcade of uh, commentators over there. Chris and I will hold down the fort on CT3 and give you all the awesome action of the silver players. And certainly, Chris, you know, 80 spots in the world championship, right? 48 for the gold bracket, 32 in the silver. I think, you know, I mean, we haven't seen the list of registrants, but I would have to say there's a good shot. Like, you know, if Mega's going to go there, like, he wanted to get in. I think I think he's got a great I, shot. I think Mega's got a great shot. And uh, if there is a... Uh, I, I would gladly sponsor his entry if that's an issue. I have no problem doing that. So uh, if that's that's what it is, then that won't be a problem. We will make sure you get to play. But I would love to have him make one more run because the last time we were in Portland, he pulled off one of the biggest upsets of all time. Exactly. And I think that you know one more encore after that is, is you know you you gotta come out one more for one more song. You know you gotta you gotta play your hit one more time. Exactly. You know. That's the one thing. He wants to go out on his terms, right, Chris? But certainly when you talk about the World Championships, why not make it right over there? That is uh, certainly the ability to make a beautiful run and, uh, you know, cap his illustrious career in this competitive sport. And the Silver Bracket's been pretty hyped the past couple of years. It's not been, you know... If there had been a Silver Bracket back in the day, it had been pretty terrible. But uh, the past two years with the Silver have been very high-quality matches that would have exceeded most of the years in CTWC and gold, so there's no shame at all in making that top 80. We got a pretty neck-and-neck -neck game on number one. 221 Mega, 208 Ben. Saw Ben with the warm-up game with 500k. So he's, unlike the best of 99 series, he's, he's uh, warmed up a bit for this. See, that's why Chris is always such a good co-host of me, because he said <laughs> that kind of game, and we segue over to the next There it is. Color. There it is. He was waiting for it. 235. Did you see that on Instagram? Uh, the <laughs> Alex visited Jeff, and they got a real IRL neck and neck shot. We might have to update our graphics there. <laughs> I did I did see that, and actually, a uh, funny story. You know, Jeff will be on uh, a little bit later, but a uh, funny story is that he... He messaged me and said, hey, I'm with Alex having lunch, and we were talking to our wives about the story of Neck and Neck. Can you show the Neck and Neck graphic that you have? And I was like, sure. Actually, I was streaming at the time he was uh, asking about. I was on my, my other account that I use for my terrible gameplay. And uh, I said, sure, why don't you come over? I'll show it to you live. And, and they got a kick out of it. Alex was uh, laughing uh, his ass off and said, wow, <laughs> I can't believe it's gotten that far. The memes, they just flow. An enjoyable meme for all, yes. Looks like this game is flowing very well for both players. Very nice start. 353 for Ben, 366 for Mega. As you mentioned, Ben has been on uh, Twitch for about an hour, so he's gotten plenty of warm up time. So CTL's coming back. Did you get the tape library in that deal too? I certainly did. Yes. Oh, nice. Pennies on the dollar. Get, Pennies on. We're the gonna dollar. get the we're gonna get the uh, Kingsman Network here in the next couple of years. Streaming network. Of course. Yes. All those classic matches. Oh, you know it. Yeah. I mean, I started doing that on uh, on my channel with the uh, Tetris Friendlies Classics. We were doing that for a while. We actually, play, we actually uh, played the match uh, of Ben and Mega uh, on one episode. Very we're already getting we're i mean it's it's just nuts to, i mean i've been here ne since nearly the beginning and we're already got into a mode of classic classic tetris like classic squared or <laughs> or <laughs> what, what what do you call a classic classic tetris match retro classic uh, yeah i guess so 
<laughs> give us some give us some help here. <laughs> you have a retro classic open too, right? Is that that's maybe that's a better term for the DAS tournament. I think so. And we're getting close to dasing in the level 19s because Mega Retro Man at 497, Ben at 440. They are just mere lines away from switching over to that very feisty level 19. So, Ben not pressing down. Well, he had five press down points early. Going to transition to 509. So, we, we have the next out. Two line difference. Okay. Mega Rutchman hangs the square. See what he's going to do here. Is he going to? We're going to set up center well. We're going to set up center well. Let's set up center well. Oh, Mega Rutchman, let's do this. Let's go, Paul. In the line, though, game. There it is. Column five, Tetris. As you mentioned, Chris, that that's his game style. He goes balls to the wall all the time. There is no stop for him. He just no. go, go, go every time he goes and plays out. He plays hard. Yeah, you know, when he in, the, in that Jonas match with that upset, he was in a chase down mode, and he had not the greatest board, and he got a dirty Tetris of, to get the majority of those chase down points. And had he not gotten that Tetris, I don't know if he would have taken that game. So that's the type of player he is, just live dangerously. But his he's played pretty clean all throughout this game one here. Ben's getting into a little uh, Swiss cheese situation. Very playable still, though. We've seen him get into those situations on the best of 99. Mm -hmm. Obstacle. Uh -oh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, what a move. It, oh, oh, there it is. Is that going to do it? All right. That's going to be a 617 for Ben Mullen. A retro man in trouble, though. He needs a 618. I don't know if he's going to get it here. He's going to give this up. And Ben Mullen takes game number one unexpectedly. GG's there. Ben Mullen, nice job. And a nice clap there from Mega the Retro Man. On on uh, EM side. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> can't, they can't believe it. <laughs> He's like, what? It's, it's all the promo work. Oh. Gotta say, I like the uh, I like the Sears shirt he was wearing in his promo too. He looked like he was gonna try to steal me a stereo. <laughs> his name tag there, and oh my word, indeed. He's working hard. And he's working hard to cut promos. He's got that first one. We'll edit the uh, the bottom there to accrue for the points. They are have readies. Let's go. No delay, Chris. Come down All right, number two. Three, two, one, Tetris. Very nice game number one from both, Chris. They came out uh, very strong on that level 18. And then that pesky 19 we know for Dancers can get uh, quite tricky. At the battle of the press down points early on. Omega's always been a very yeah. aggressive push down player. You know, we saw Ben do that kind of once in a while doesn't really go too hard on that there's some sort of inside joke with 11 i don't know what that might be recent commercial about 11s now it had to do with like the phoenix institution hmm. so a lot of those online schools just popping up all the time right? oh yeah yeah and with the super early Tetris side, that normally doesn't happen until near the, near the transition, but I guess you need to get it in early. Yeah. Actually, Could bend a little bit. Retro Man. Mesa's camera. Is he going to play for a column two Tetris? Is he going to maintain that? He's burn it with another square. All right, he's back in scoring position. He gets the Tetris. 99-67. Early lead for Ben Mullen. Kofska's cat. That was a fun Twitch name. It's the Muller. Is it Muller? Is that a nickname that I don't know of? Never heard of it. 
Oh, he has so many names. He has so many names, Chris. Yeah. Right? Icon. Yeah. Legend. Comedian. Has he been playing that trombone uh, game? What's, what's, what's it? Trombone Master? Trombone King? I don't know what the heck it was called, but it's like Guitar Hero for trombone. Sort of as a joke, but <laughs> all the internet's ablaze at how great it is. <laughs> I didn't I, no, I didn't know that he might be an enthusiast of that. Uh, well, yeah, that's a, that's the, that's the game hotness right now. So him, Joseph, both should just have a have an impromptu showdown at DTWC and, and Trombone Master. Let me find out what the name of that game is. Venezuela Hero. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would drive that would drive everybody nuts. Trombone Champ. Apparently, you have to have some sort of analog input to uh, determine how far out your trombone slide goes to get the right tones, unlike Guitar Hero with the four buttons, so people are playing all sorts of terrible phony trombone games. All crazy graphics go off in the background depending on how well you do. Right now, Ben is doing very well through 69 lines. Yeah. 271. To hey now. Mega is 200,000. Almost everybody. Hey now, yes. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a king stream. You can't pass up that opportunity. No, of course not. And I'd be remiss if we didn't pass up the opportunity to talk about... You know, Mega Retro Man has mentioned, done so many great things in the world of Cloud Tetris. Hopefully, as Chris mentioned, that he can maybe rethink and participate in the World Championships. That'll be wonderful. His uh, journey so far in this farewell tour has taken us to have him play some of his great friends and, you know, wonderful players in the world of Cloud Tetris. He faced off against Louis Scooey uh, back in several months ago. I feel like it's almost like forever of the day. I think it was back in March, was, uh, like February, March, somewhere around that time. He played Louis Scooey in the best night. He beat him in a decider, of all things. You can imagine that. And uh, then took on Matt Martin shortly after. Uh, to play uh, around there, and that one went to eight, where Matt actually was uh, victorious. Matt did DAS only for that one, and uh, Matt was uh, strong that night. And then, of course, we saw the last time we saw Mega was on this channel playing Jeff in their best of nine at the Reckoning event. We saw Jeff was just prime form that day. It's, uh, yeah, so good. At making the trip, yes, he is. Mr. Yeah, Martin, I would imagine he would. And the lovely Ashley Martin, they'll be there. They'll be in attendance and be vlogging. <laughs> Assuming they'll be podcasting for the Tetris Gal podcast too, so. Way too much to do that weekend. Oh, there certainly I've got to like figure out if I'm going to get out of the contest area to get anything else done. <laughs> and they announced they're going to have a blockbuster championship, kind of like back in the 90s. Oh, wow. and I'm gonna see, like, I, yeah, I don't know what the format is, but I think I have to try to check that out and see if I have a chance. I'll have a chance as long as they don't do Clay Fighter. Uh, yeah, <laughs> just like they did. Yeah. yeah, Clay Fighter killed me. That was the uh, the end for me. I was in the top ten in my local blockbuster, and once Clay Fighter happened, I was like, oh god. I also I had a Turtles mute or a Turtles Tournament Fighter in it, and uh. NBA Jam. Yep, that was it. Yep. Those were the two games. And I did very well in those. Just like uh, Mega Retro Man doing very well in this transition. 495 here on level 19 is ahead in the line count because obviously his ferocious pushdowns have led him to be ahead. Ben Mullen, meanwhile, a little trouble at the top. Mm -hmm. Kind of blocked that well. This is a bad well. spot for transition. Yeah, he went and blocked that well a little too early. Ooh, Retro Man with some nice tucks. That's going to do it. We are tied. Tough top out there for Ben. He could not get out. Once he blocked that well with the long bar coming, that was all she wrote. 441 for him. He can't go any further. And Mega Retro Man at 558. Look at that determined face on him, Chris. He uh, take one. And we've even this best of nine series. We're one apiece. GG's. They're two good examples of well kept facial hair on both players. It looks like Ben shaved. I guess I was commenting on his beard from his uh, promo video, but it looks like he shaved up for uh, tonight's event. It's looking mighty fine. And 
and Mega Retroman's got those perfectly placed wafts of hair from under his hat. I see right there. Look at that, Chris. He's uh, shaking the hand there. We know. Yeah, he's that's that. that's kind of one of the reasons why he's retiring. Unfortunately, is human wrist ain't meant to take that kind of abuse for uh, the hyper tapping. We are one to one. We're just one to best of nine. Is now best of seven. That's what they say, right? That's a that a, that a phrase. That's what they're saying nowadays. Yeah. Retirement are formal mind... affairs there, after all. Yes. Oh, but Mega Retromand is is a uh, student of the professional wrestling game, and we all know what a retirement match means in professional wrestling. Not much. That's Ric Flair. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, you never know. All might get married and divorced five or six times and have to come back. That's true. Yeah, have to get that Tetris money to pay your alimony. Retirement's meant a lot more in 1994, Chris. <laughs> yeah. Gonna start that tonight. All right, we're waiting on uh, Mega. He's gonna take a few moments. Gotta get those hands uh, uncramped. You definitely see it's taking a toll on him right now, Chris. Mm hmm. Even with DAS style, it's it's not pleasant. On if you if your wrist isn't in great shape, you can forget about it. Yeah, and certainly the way that he plays, like you you see the forceful push downs. We got Hover three, so we'll get this one started, and then we'll talk about that. But right, Chris, got him down for this game. But number three. All right, in three, two, one, Tetris. Like intentions were a thing, at least. Oh yeah, that's true, Aaron. One of your favorite players there, Bidwell. Here we go. Yeah, but certainly his the way he plays the game, Chris, uh, for Mega Retro Man, they, I mean, you see the ferocious push down, right? It's it's not like, here, let me just press the button uh, and just hold it down, and that's pushing down. Like, the, the way he grips the controller is with so much force to just uh, be able to push down ferociously but then also have that movement from left to right to give him control to get pieces over quickly that's what is taking the toll on him yeah i tried looking up 1994 divorces and i got a bunch of people got married in 94 but then got divorced later that's not what i want google get good <laughs> you ask siri nah, i don't want to talk to siri right now but Yeah, they weren't much of a. They I, maybe they were. They were on their dying breaths back in the nineties. What a wonderful time! Okay, we got a. We got. We got Adron in chat. Like I, just, I had to like do the uh, player name math. <laughs> cool Ice Age is like. Oh, uh, then I was like, oh yeah, it's Adron. I'm trying to say it properly as well. Right, of course. He's a, sitting back enjoying a beverage in that comfy chair, probably. Yeah, as he as he gets set for Portland as well too, Chris. He did. Oh yeah. When we were at the Northeast qualifier, of course, he is the finalist, uh, losing to Hydrant Dude in the final, but a tremendous effort. And just you know, at that time, Chris, when we went there, no one knew he was coming. Kind of just worked it out like literally like twelve hours before the event. And he's talking late night with Hydrant Dude and said, "Hey, you going to that? Okay, I can come if you pick me up." And sure enough, he showed up and made it to the final of that event. Unbelievable. We love a dramatic surprise entrance. And we certainly got that yeah. with, the, with, the, with, with both Hydrant, right? Well, he was a surprise, or it was just Aaron? No, it was just Aaron. Yeah, Hydrant had uh, confirmed Hydrant me. was, yeah. Yeah, he was the big favorite coming into the tournament, was trying to figure out who would finish in second. So it was really good. It was really good at Northeast Qual. Had a good time there. And there's a dirty touches for Mr. Mullen. Nice. 218 for him, 237 for the Mega Retro Man, as we are pretty close early. Early days in this one, Chris, only about 50 plus lines in. Got seven more to go. Uh, Aaron's asking if either of these players are going to Portland. Ben Mullen is not going to Portland. Mega Retro Man is, but he hasn't confirmed if he's playing or not. Uh, we are both trying to uh, gently nudge him to play one more time, but as you can see with his between game wrist issues, Making him, go, you know, a two-hour call with that sort of thing might be a bit masking a bit much. But 
not going to say no till he says no for good in two weeks. So, right. I mean, you never know. Oh. Maybe, maybe he has. Like, you never know. Maybe he'll have like a great, like Cody Rhodes type entrance just coming on down to the qualifying hmm? station. And... Like, a, like if he pulled out a max in his first game. And just made it, it was just enough to get him. Like, I, I don't need to play anymore. I'm just going to do my one max. And I'll just get into the bracket with, with this one game. Oh, certainly. Yes. Fortunately, he's in the Seattle area. I don't know exactly where in the Washington area, but it's it's a drivable distance for Portland for him. So it'll be a good thing. I have not seen him since 2019. So I great to catch up it's like so many it's like i have to like think of I, i'm gonna have to like make a calendar and set up time to, to talk to everybody like i'll have to have a checklist it's like did i say hi to this person i say hi to this person i'll just get like uh just be like vince and get a booth where you know you want, <laughs> want to get hugs right you got a hug booth <laughs> you got a hug booth hug vince for five dollars three hug minimum uh, three hug maximum excuse me and uh make make a profit while you get to meet people right why not well Yeah, the uh, discussion about number of maxes needing to get into the bracket of 80, it's hard to say. I don't know. We obviously know what the top echelon of players have done. What have the pack done? And how many of that pack are going to show up? And is 80 slots, it, it's just unknowable right now. I, I, I really have even less clue this year of what the cutoffs are going to be than I did last year. Right. Obviously, with our format, it's been the same as the past two years, so... You gotta expect a few people are gonna get double digits, and it might you might need speedrun strats to figure out who's gonna get the number one seed. But the top seeds are beginning. Ooh, look at this dirty Tetris setup! Dirty Tetris, Mega Retro Man, just like you'd expect from him. We're nearing transition. Five thirty-three, Ben. Four ninety-eight, Paul. Very well said, there, Chris. Yeah, he's looking for some help to get parity on this board uh, back in order. Uh, it'll take the Tetris, bring it down, and we're off and running for him. 527 on the right. Meanwhile, Ben yawning at 557. Like, this is a piece of cake here, although he has a awkward board going into transition. Mm -hmm. So the icon can do here, Chris, as he is Trying to weather the storm gets a lumbar all the way over to the left yeah, side. Yeah, just barely. A set of pieces are really not as helpful yeah. as you'd like. Square helped. But he's just not getting it burnt. He's not down stacking. He's just hover stacking. Still has the lead, but he's trying to figure out what burns he can make to try to get this into some semblance of safety. Well, Mega Retro Man. Right on the heels here, Chris. He's ahead in the line count, but the score ain't too far. It's 571 to 582. This one is getting neck and neck again. Yeah, Ben's finally clean, but Mega Retro Man takes the lead with that Tetris. But he's also got the one level advantage, or disadvantage, I should say. Ooh, the double egg. And Ben's going to top out. Ugh. That's just one of those cascading miss drop, miss drop, miss drop, game over. Yeah, that is a tough break there. The endurance test for Ben Mullen did very well to get in and out of the trouble, but one mistake has end the run. At 591, that neck can now go away. Mega Retro Man at 621, you are good for this game number three. You'll take a 2 1 lead over your rival, GG. We are not mulling tonight, correct? I don't think he's on that great of pace. There he goes. I'm a little behind you. All right. Wait for the rocket to take off.
See those similar scores on the uh, high score screen there? They've been pretty evenly matched. It's basically just been post-transition mistakes that have killed all three games so far. I'll have our three for Ben. Paul shaking out the wrists. Having some monster. Classic Paul. Get energized. And we have the hover three. There we go. Yep, go ahead, there we Chris. go. On a ZR's countdown, game number four. Game number four, you dirty, dirty whore. In three, two, one, Tetris. Cross <laughs> the line there. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's the monthly Tetris channel. We can say, we can say certain things here. Oh, man. We wouldn't want to infringe on GDs, you know. Give it at your door. Oh, no, I got, I got to come for the new ones, yeah. Vince will approve that one at uh, CTBC. Oh, you know it. Well, I mean, even if not, I, I've sent dumber things on Mike. Yeah. <laughs> Although, I guess we might have to save that to, like, the semifinals, I guess, because uh, I think it's best of three, majority of the way for Silvers. Yeah, I mean, that's... I, I don't... I was talking to Vince about the setup of that. I, I, I The little inside baseball, they, they want us... They want Silver to be finished before the top eight of gold, so... If we can't keep the matches moving with just our two stations, we might have to go best of three all the way through, but that is not the goal, obviously. But, yeah, you, you see what type of time frame we're going to have, so... We'll see how it works out. Yes, Mr. Eren, that is me. It's good to see you, sir, and I can't wait to see you in a few weeks, along with everybody else. Imagine Two weeks, not a couple weeks. Not a few anymore, it's now a couple. We've, yeah. we've now reduced that Nomenclature. Imagine Ada not knowing your voice. Come on. I, you know. Twenty-three for you're the old. icon on the left. One thirty-nine for the Mega Retro Man on the right. Go ahead, Chris. Yeah, as I say, I'm a year older now. My voice has probably changed again. Not sure. Yes. Happy belated birthday to Chris Bidwell. Celebrated on the twenty-seventh of September. Yes. Forty-six. Yeah, I'm, I'm the 1985 Bears defense. Let me know when you get to 50, because uh, you'll have a head start on me, so you can let me know how that's going. <laughs> well, I, uh, hopefully, oh, I, I'll, I'll try to be positive. I, sh I should be able to make it, but... <laughs> Come on, yeah, of course you can. Uh, not, 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 getting the, not getting too morbid here. <laughs> Come on. That's kind of a running joke I have with uh, a friend of mine who actually uh, shares a birthday with you uh, on the 27th, so... Uh, that's kind of what we say to each other is like oh you're you're older huh tell me how it is up there i'll, I'll catch up later we're, we're two uh, minutes apart when, when did so you, you how old are you 42 we will be 43, 42. This, uh, okay. November, yes so you graduated high school 96 uh 98 98 okay I wish it was 96. i did uh, freshman year of high school was 1994. Ah, a very good year yes, when sir. I graduated. Let's see, there you go. So we got a question about if we are running silver and gold concurrently. Yes, we will be. So the general idea is on Saturday afternoon, they're going to start the bracket up. Top 48 for silver. Top 30, or the next 32 will be, sorry, top 48 gold. The next 32 will be silver. Uh, the goal is to get the gold down to 16 on Saturday and to get the silver down to top 8. And then on Sunday morning, Silver will conclude, hopefully before Gold starts its top eight on a single stage. But being a live tournament, knowing how good the players are, adjustments can be made here and there, and maybe they won't turn out the way we plan it, but it will have to run concurrently. And the Silver Bracket will be broadcast live, but we won't be on the PA system. If you want to watch the matches, you just have to kind of get up close to us and hear our own voices through the muddle of convention sounds. Which there will be plenty of. Plenty of under sale announcements. Plenty of bad DJs. Plenty of chiptune bands playing too, super loud. 
It's a game convention. It's going to be great. Wouldn't have it any other way. So what do we got here? We got 381 Mega Retro Man now up to 404. We have 322 for Ben. Similar uh, line pace here. Of course, as soon as I say that, Mega gets another Tetris, and now he's up ahead 10 lines. Double Tetris for Ben. See the focus on their faces here, Chris. This match means a lot to, to both of them. Uh, is in the promo, Ben had mentioned that he really wants to beat Mega Retro Man because Mega had defeated his hero Jonas back in the 2019 World Championships, yeah. and he's like, you know, I I want to take this guy out. I want to beat him. Add my name to the pantheon of legends. And certainly, Mega wants to prove that he can still play this game regardless of the issues that he's dealing with. He still can play this game at a very high competitive level. That's what he wants to come out. He wants to come prove that to the world. It's easy to get rusty, I'll tell you that. I, I only get to play once a month or so, and that's why I don't improve. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is a commitment, you know, that's the thing. It is a commitment that's being made by the elite players, they have a little bit more time, so to speak, versus the adults. Yep. And right now, almost two levels oh. ahead is uh, Mega here. Ben is halfway up a transition. It's... You can get this one burn down. You can score again, but he's going to need some help. That's the line, gets it open, covers it back up. It's the L over. There's the line. Ben Mullen is back to safety. That's going to be scoring time. He's down 80,000 points. 601 Mega, 522 Ben. Great plays there by Ben Mullen. Four. Yeah, absolutely. Great plays there by Ben to stay composed. That was certainly a, a very scary situation, but he is feeling good. He's feeling confident. Maybe the best of 99 paying off right now, Chris. All that hard work during the summer going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, having knowing that he had to play aggressive against Jeff. You got to take that same mentality against Mega Retro Man, who goes hard every time. He's doing great, but Mega is keeping up that pace. 662, 612. So he's whittled it down to about two Tetrises. Should I say it? 669 Mega. Hey now. Ooh. <laughs> On level 23 for Mega Retro Man. 647 on level 23 now for Ben Mullen. Mega will go to level 24. Now Mega's board is pulled up a bit. One more Tetris for Ben and he will tie this up. It's the line piece. One piece too late. This is trouble. Oh, yes. Nicely ben. done, Ben. We this is 7 12, 7 19. Ooh, you know what that means. Again, yet again. Bring him out. What, Bring him so, out. So, what Rivals is all about, Chris? Neck alerts all over the place. Uh, ben, the cleaner board. A Tetris at 748 has the lead. The Mega Retro Man on 26. And an oh. early shift. Mega Retro Man playing hover stacking, not down stacking. Oh, that might do it. He's going to give that up. And Ben takes game number four. Wow. And play this out, man, my man. Play this out. Mullen this bad boy. This has some potential. Oh, uh, I guess it's only 20 lines left, darn it. It definitely still has potential there. He has to kind of play very clean, though. Tetris is worth over 30,000 points at this juncture. He could get a 900 for sure. Oh, he's feeling it, Chris, right now. Give him the line. Come on, game. Give him the frick. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'll take the 800. GG's. We are tied at two. Down to a best of five. So this previous 25 minutes have been a complete waste of our time. Just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Well, we've enjoyed it. We certainly have enjoyed it. 
Well done for Ben and Mega. GG's to both. A crafty Kim in. Good to see her. She'll be rooting on for Jeff. His match is coming up next. We got third dimensional broadcasting with Mega Retro Man coughing into his arm but into the microphone. <laughs> got to hover three on Ben, waiting for Mega. Uh, <laughs> <Jeff. laughs> Alright, both are ready to go. Chris, count them down for this uh, crucial game number five. Game number five in three, two, one, Tetris. See, I couldn't even come up with a word that rhymes with five. So I dialed it down a bit. Stay alive for number five. All right, Chris, I'm going to have to fly solo for a moment. I just got to step away for a couple minutes. All righty. How is everybody doing here? Got a tie game. Rivals 3. Here on the CTM channel. And Ben's doing the, um, the Tetra Psy earlier and earlier in his games. It's been working, though. Clean boards on both players. But uh, if anybody is making a trip to Portland and you see me or King, and we're not like buried and uh, buried alive in tournament work, feel free to say hello to either one of us. One forty four mega, one twenty Ben. Ben is cheesed up with one one pesky little piece that he finally uncovers. Only to create another piece. Has no place to put the square. So he's gonna be digging for a bit. Mega having to cover his well. How aggressive will he take this? See? King missed the flat burn. He goes away, the flat burn shows up. Both players having some issues. You know, you're playing with Das, you don't want to get much higher. Nice T-spin, Ben Mullen. Mega gets out of trouble. Now at 220, back to the bottom of the board. Ben still not able to downstack. Finally getting the pieces to work his way down. But Mega is now up 265 to 144, so... Ben, number one priority, get back to the safety, and you got a lot of comeback work to do in this one. Definitely not impossible, though. Nice job, Ben Mullen. Sixty lines for both players. Still that hundred thousand point lead. Okay, getting droughted here. Haven't had a line in a while. He's gonna finally burn, but now he's got some issues. Drought ends, but the line piece was useless. Two line pieces are useless. The square burst that was actually helpful for Mega. Gets the Tetris. 326 Mega. 264 Ben. And with the... What is this garbage shake of his head? Here 
we go. Two more clean boards. As we hit the Joey Parker turn at 100 lines. And it's just slightly come back. 100,000 now. Now down to a 60,000 point lead. Going to come down to level 19 play. But one mistake can end it at any moment. So play all the way out. Survival is the name of the game. Trombone champ Ben Mullen. Both boards have been so clean for a good while now. A T hang shouldn't uh, affect Ben too much. That should be easy to fill in. I'm gonna handle a little oddly, but it'll work. Going to uh, clean up with a triple. And transition at 485 for Ben Mullen. Gets another triple. Stays alive while Mega Retro Man post-transition is starting to get a little skyscape scraper-ish on his board. This is the chance Ben needs. If he can get a couple scores here, he's going to make this a lot tighter. Looks like I just came back in time for a very good... Yeah. Are we still game five? Still in game five. Uh, ben fell behind about 100,000 points, but he is slowly working his way back, and Mega's board is in super cleanup mode. And if Ben gets this Tetris here, and he will, we're down to a 20,000 point difference, so we're under a Tetris now. Ben has come most way back. Oh, and there's the head shake for Mega. 595 is his final score. Ben needs a 596, but he hangs the square. He needs to get a dirty Tetris, and that... Okay, he's going to burn it down. It's a 596. The line will only give him a double here. He's going to take it. 592. Roughly 1,000 points per single line. He can line it out from here on out. There's a triple. There it is. Game number five goes to Ben Mullen. Wow. Tremendous game there. Wow. That took a lot of poise there. Gutsy performance from the icon himself, Ben Mullen. He hangs in. Mega Retro, you saw his reaction, Chris. He was so pissed that he was not able to get the piece where he wanted it. Kind of pulled it back and just like, damn it. You know? Oh. Feels like that's one he let slip away. With Dash, you have to be perfect on every single piece, and just the the Dash masters that can consistently play at nineteen halfway up the board. It's it's amazing. I mean, it doesn't. It, the rollers and tappers do more. But the precision they they can cover up mistakes, whereas Dash players can't. So. It's, it's it's a different skill set that if you play DAS, you can really appreciate what they're actually doing in those situations. When box mill, this is the Ben Mullen himself, Ben freaking Mullen. It's going toe to toe with Mega Retro Man at three to two. It's a best of nine, as you can see on the lower third. Chris, calm down for this game number six coming up. Game number six in three, two, one, Tetris. I really didn't want to rhyme six with dicks. It just wasn't appropriate. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Got to get all the good stuff out now before we yeah, go. Uh, <laughs> Fortunately, there's no uh, game sixes in Portland. Most certainly not. And I think that's one of the reasons why Vince uh, put them on game six. Actually, a friend of mine, 
his dad was named Dick, and he wanted to name his son Dick because that's his grandfather's name. So, like, you, you know, he wanted to pass the name down. And the school that he sent his older kid to, they said they would not actually call him by that name. So schools will not call you Dick, even if that's your given name. Wow. So why did they call him instead? They didn't. Well, he didn't. He, ch- he didn't give him that name. It's his middle name. He, 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 they convinced him to change his mind or modify it. Wow. Yeah. What a world we're living in these days, huh, Chris? I know. It's that, if you see that red letter media meme with the uh, Dick the Birthday Boy shirt, it's good stuff. <laughs> when Grandmaster Rivero Mullen will Mullen final game to send Mega off. Well, it's possible. Yep. I mean, anything's possible right now. Don't count Mega Retro. This is a bit of a really fantastic set so far. Both have played very well i think we've gone to transition all five games so far chris so. maybe two didn't but yeah yeah it's it's been really good plus you know when we did the best of 99s none of the not very many of the series were close like this it was one player getting the advantage or not it was lots of sweeps lots of six threes lots of seven twos so we're at three two here and it's a, it's a treat to have this close of a, a pairing in any classic Tetris match, but these particular two, it just makes it that much fun, more fun. Oh, certainly. I think there's a little extra juice to this one, right, Chris? Because as mentioned in the promo, Mega said that Ben is one of his closest friends in the world of class Tetris, along with like Louis Scooby, Joey Parker, and so on. Extra juice here, because it's like your best friends, but you want to have a little bragging right at the end of the day. And oh no, we're gonna talk oh no! Oh, that L hang over on 2-3 uh, does Mega in at 141, and the Icon at 164 will take game number 6. It'll give him win number 4, and he's one more away from ending this one. Mega tells you in the chat exactly what pretty much Moodus would tell you. The former <laughs> owner of CTL, he's giving it to me. Well, this is kind of what he said after I took the keys from the kingdom away oh fuck me yep. we, we we ask about uh, how much that cost dozens of dollars pennies on the dollars of the tape library and all other assets you know we are yeah the the bigger stars are being paid by aol still to stay home exactly <laughs> oh man Yes, this is a best of nine, so uh, Mega is now in must-win mode. He's got to win three in a row to take this match. It's certainly possible. A hover three for Mega, waiting for Ben. Ben's he's got to rocket his way off the uh, screen. He's getting a uh, he's got a pep talk there from uh, his son, Oscar. There we go. Oscar saying, Dad! Finish him. Time for bed. There he is. Count it down, Chris. Game number seven is all yours. Game number seven in three, two, one, Tetris. I forgot exactly what GD says for game seven. I know I think he says... Something about heaven. Sends us to heaven or... Gonna be... Heaven, I don't know. Some shenanigans over there. Yeah, it's, it's, there's, there's not a lot of uh, words that rhyme with seven. Yeah, Colin, Colin's a big uh, GD fan. He's letting us know. Takes us to heaven, which technically he stole from me. I was saying that. <laughs> but we don't do too any game sevens on, uh, on the show. Like a retro man in game six, having his Bill Buckner moment. Speaking about Bill Buckner, the Mets are kind of having a Bill Buckner we'll, moment we'll, here. It's a little tight there. Uh, oh, they're, uh, the Braves are one game away last time I checked. And they are, yeah. They, um, the ground was on the mound today. And, it just didn't work and that's out. huge because the, the, uh, the division winner gets a bye in the first round. Yeah, the, uh, the, the uh, losing team in between the Braves and the Mets will have to play a wild card round. Yeah. 
certainly don't want to don't want to go in doing that. You gotta well, bring back Timmy Trumpet or like burn it. Like you couldn't. You're not supposed to play that until you actually win the World Series. No, that's true. That's, that's the sign I'll uh, take. He's got a nice home run by uh, Thomas Nito. Thomas Nito getting it done. About time. Oh. When the bench players contribute, I don't know if he's a bench player, but if I haven't uh, heard of him, then yeah, he's, uh, he's obviously not the. Uh... He's the backup catcher. Oh, nice, nice. Love me some backup catchers. One of my favorite ball players of all time is uh, perennial bench catcher for the Reds, Corky Miller. Oh, of course. Yeah, he played like 17 years, like half of them he played in AAA. They would they would only call up when they needed him. Right. And one of my favorite all-time Met backup catchers. Uh, got a couple, but um, certainly one that comes to mind was uh, one that played with the Mets in 1994, Chris. It was uh, Mackie Sasser. Ooh. What a great Such a baseball, baseball name. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you read my mind. That's such a baseball name. Yeah, Damn, Mackie, it is. Sasser. It's probably because we heard Vince Scully pronounce his name, and like that, the when when somebody like Vince Scully would enunciate a name, that made it a baseball name. Like yes. like Mickey Hatcher and Steve Sachs and Kevin Mitchell, and it just it's just such a it just works. Oh, it's so true. Oh, he missed the Mudheads game. I've been to, I believe it's Fifth Third Field. It's a nice place to see a game. In the Glass City. They're the world famous Mud Hens because I guess the, uh, I forget which MASH character was supposed to be a Mud Hens fan. Well, I'm certainly a Columbus Clippers fan because that. Oh, yes. Beautiful ball field you took us to last year, Chris, with the uh, Ohio event. Oh, it's, it's gorgeous. I recommend anybody to go out there, check it out. It was very big. Yeah, they, they just finished their. They just finished uh, third in their division, so no no playoffs this time. But uh, if you go on Monday or Tuesday nights, they have Dime a Dog Night, uh, ten cent hot dogs. So we're in Columbus on a week weekday in the summertime. It's, it's a cheap it. dinner right there. Yeah. yeah. Three ten mega. <laughs> Two ninety six. No cheapo games here. Look at that segways, Chris, right? Love it. I'm loving this. I'm loving this matchup. These two guys. So good. And I really wish we can get one more run from the guy on the right. Yeah, you got you to gotta root for him. Got to get one more in, man. Do it on the biggest stage. Call it a career there. You just never know what 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 next year is going to bring. What ne it's it's if you're breathing, it's not crippling, painful. I, I I can't I can't make you do it. I don't you know obviously. We just we just want you to succeed. We we just want to relive these moments over and over again. Absolutely. Defining uh, moments make... that will live on uh, for the test of time. Yeah, I mean. I got to be an ESPN commentator because of that match. I mean, it, it means a lot to me. I didn't, I felt that when it happened. Paul and I being longtime rivals and other video game endeavors. So it meant a lot. He's like, he, he, we were on the same team. I think we can get you on for next year's uh, rival show. You and uh, mega in the NWC battle. So. Oh, he'd crush me. Can you get 5.2 million score? No, I can, I can break two on a good day. Uh, we we had a we, we, we got a Yeah, well, we had the uh, we had the rivalry on the uh, Nintendo Campus Challenge card. That was our game, that was our battle back and forth. Here we go. Transition time. 495 Ben. 489 Mega. Mega is cheesed up. Oh, and he flips it the wrong way, and he's like, "I am done." Ben is going to take it. We had we were tied two to two, and Ben turned on the Jets and won three in a row to take the series. There it is, the icon Ben Mullen has done it. Really tough break there for Mega Retro Man. He really wanted to get this one in. He didn't want to go out like that. But if you're going to lose, you might as well lose to that man on the left. The icon of Classic Tetris has done it again, Chris. 
Ben freaking Mullen is your winner for the best of nine match. Congratulations. GG's Mega. Like I said, can't wait to see in a couple weeks. That winner guy, though, he's not going to be in Portland. So this is our last good glimpse of him until uh, we see him again on your channel or streaming or whatever he's going to do in the offseason. Almost certainly. I mean, he said that there's a few other players he'd like to play, Chris. He said he's not done. He's still going. And he's uh, training the next generation. You can see right there his young there son is. is celebrating, dancing the night away. Look at that young man right there. He's got the dash technique down. He's going to show you, Chris, Das is not dead. We're going to keep it alive. And How do they have generation. the exact same haircut? How is that possible? Like, <laughs> the, two, the part is in the exact same spot. Does, does Mary, like, put, like, a marker and, like, make sure they have the same? <laughs> they got the two-for-one special. Congratulations, Ben. Congratulations to Oscar there. Your dad is many people's heroes. He is many people's icon but he is a, a very special dad to you. Congratulations to the Mullen family, GG.